You know, Rick, we talk about throwing, arm strength, running, and agility as being important tools in baseball. Could you um, tell us why it's so important for players to do strength and conditioning, agility and speed training, and what impact this has on their playing baseball at the collegiate and professional level? Sure. Um, there are no guarantees that an athlete's going to make it with the strength and conditioning, but I do guarantee you this. You will not make it without it. Uh, let's just talk about the speed side of it. You have 90 feet that you have to run. Okay, and how many times have you seen a bang bang play and you're out or you're safe? Okay, fractions of a second mean the difference of winning and losing. And so, if we can take the athletes and make them as quick and as fast as possible, then let the chips fall. Okay, you, what we're trying to do is make them be able to compete at whatever level that they're at. Uh, the strength side of it, when you take a look at the players that are in the pros. They're very large human beings, okay? And for the average high school kid to come up, um, it's, they need to learn. They need to learn to get stronger. They need to understand what you know, muscles are going to be used for baseball. And they've got to get stronger. Otherwise, you won't make it. When you go up to the next level, the biggest jump is from um, high school to Division One. And when you come in at Cal State Fullerton, we had freshmen that they were all Americans, but they didn't were so far behind on the strength and the conditioning side of it, and it wasn't part of their regime. And that's why we had 100 guys sign professional contracts in those 10 years, because our guys' conditioning program was one of the toughest in the country. Okay, now for arm strength, that's a given. Uh, you get rated on arm strength here. That's one of the tools that they look at. And the stronger that you can make your arm, the better off you're going to be or less chance of injuring um, the arm, especially if you're a pitcher. We want to train both the accelerators and decelerators of the arm, and uh, we have ways to make it better. And so we can train this arm with less effort and will help prevent the injuries. And you just let the, the chips fall. We All we're going to do is make you the best athlete that you can be and then go compete.